Hello my friends, welcome back to the flight deck. This here is the original micromotor thrust stand that I've been using for many years to measure micromotor performance and endurance. Two arms of equal length in an L-shaped lever are redirecting the thrust onto the scale. Over the plug here I connect the contraption to a programmable lab power supply. This new version here is constructed using the same working principle, but it's a lot easier and cheaper to make. Instead of a programmable power supply, I'm using this Arduino controller here to program my test pattern. It's possible to run the contraption of a single cell LiPo battery with PH2 connector, However, for the most consistent results, you should use a constant voltage source at around 3.3 to 3.5 volts. If this would be an actual motor test, I'd now be busy writing down thrust and current data. The controller is now running through a 30 second test cycle. 10 seconds at half throttle, 10 seconds at 75% and then 10 seconds at Full throttle, pedal to the metal, baby. <laughs> then it pauses for 10 seconds and starts over. You can change all these settings on the controller using the Arduino IDE. If you want the cycle to stop, you need to unplug the power from the controller. I used common Lego parts wherever possible, but there was one part where I just couldn't find a suitable plastic piece in the LEGO catalog, and that is the motor mount. So I had to create my own. Let me take it out here to give you a closer look. I have made this mount on my 3D printer, and to make additive printing a lot easier, I've designed it in two halves that you clip onto the axle like this and then glue and clamp together. If you want to print such a mount yourself, have a look in the video description for links to the print file on Thingiverse. If you want to see details on the LEGO parts that I've used for this build, have a look in the video description for a link to my wish list on brickl.com. The yellow pieces here are 2x2 two two tiles that I glue to the bottom of the scale to stick it to the bottom plate. The arms are easy to exchange so I can have multiple motor adapters for various motor sizes. The controller that I'm using for this project is the Alien Flight Classic Narrow. Link to that also in the video description. And also in the video description a link to the related GitHub project where you can get a copy of the sketch. And if you have any questions on this build, you can either ask them in the comments section below or you can go in the video description and find the link to our community forums where there's a whole thread with even more details about this thrust stand. And now, because I'm sure some of you want to see it again, I'm powering this thing up again on the slippery table. Now you actually watched this video here, 4 minutes 30 seconds, almost to the end. So I want to say thank you for watching my friend, welcome to the Low Voltage Club. See you later. <laughs>